Okay. Hey, there we are. Okay, I did it. Cool. So, hello, Tomo. Again. Hello. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, this is the uh, artificial hello. Like, we haven't actually said hi to each oh, other I for the it. last 20 minutes. Oh. <laughs> and I've got Veebs. I'll, I'll give her a little, a little screen time. There she is. That's great. Look at this beautiful creature. I'm actually just going to put a picture of Veebs up for the whole... <laughs> the whole situation so we can just look at v you can do that yeah, yeah 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 this is a really this is such a cool weird um oh, look what I did. platform you've got going on yes um it's not a uh, spoiler alert it's not just mine i didn't come up with twitch um but oh, um, i thought that's what you'd been doing yes in i wish okay. i wish that see that would be good <laughs> then i really wouldn't have to worry about anything um <laughs> instead of i wouldn't have to be uh calling unemployment for three hours every week you have to stay on hold for so long it's a good system it's unbelievable it's it's unbelievable and then we and we're all like we're all like we should have the, the you know the medicare for all and it's like jesus christ we gotta i don't i wouldn't trust these people with a fucking potato peeler after this you know, like how the hell are they going <laughs> to handle that? But I mean, you know, still, please give everyone health insurance. But um, maybe do that and then also fire everyone that put this system in place. <laughs> but anyway, so I reckon just fire everyone all together. No, none of scratch. No, this can't. You know, I, I mean, if, the, if if this was a job interview, everyone does not get the job. N not a single person. No, no, everyone. It's like <laughs> anyone else can have this job. The job of running Earth. No one gets, no one did a good job. Sorry. Bad job. Um, so we started off really fun, I think. Right away, yes. happy, positive yeah. topic. So hello. We're on a high. Yeah. We're on a high. People are already saying hello. They're psyched. Veebs is here. Um, they're screaming your name. Um, so that's good. In the chat room. There's a chat room in here. In the, oh, uh, in the thing I've got. That's I got, cool. Yeah. Um, so hello, everyone. Yeah. This is another I'll, episode of No I'll, Lead uh, Singers I'll, Allowed. I'll, I'll trust you. Yes. I'm not supposed to be able to see it, am I? You can if you if you go onto my Twitch oh. page, you can see you can see oh. us, and then there's a little oh. chat thing on the bottom. And if you want to do that, you can watch uh, people talk about us and ask questions that okay. if we I'll think trust are you good. To just tell me if anything's. Yeah, you can tell me if there's anything I need to see. I will. I will let you know. And that goes <laughs> to you, the viewer. If there's anything you want to ask Tamo or myself about anything. Um, and we deem it good, we will decide to maybe answer it. Like any week, if you want to talk to us. That's the whole point of this live situation. Um, I love it. Yeah, right? That's the whole thing. It's like a live interview. It's not like it. It just I feel like is. Like, um, you know, Frasier and, and, the, and the lady who sits in his booth and he does his psychiatry mm -hmm. and, on the show? That's, that's us. Roth? Ross? Ro Roz. Ro Ro Roz, yeah. That is us. You'd be Roz, I'll be Frasier. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. that's better. I feel like that has always <laughs> been our our uh our professional relationship from from day one. Was was True. that I thought we were Frasier. I f may may I may I just straight up uh tell my first like r remembering of you of of I guess the three you of you. Can do whatever you want. But um uh, I think it's It's, it's your show, baby. I, you I think it's I think it's important to um uh to tell everyone that um so actually this this is a question was the jeff rosenstock uh antarctica tour what tour was that in the camp cope universe which number tour two it, two. two so two, i knew two number two it's like but it wasn't like the first one wasn't even like that big it was like a, a much smaller it was like maybe four shows or something so okay. this was the first like real tour Okay, yeah. the first like proper tour of yeah. all time. I I I I, I knew yeah. it was early. I didn't. I thought it, I knew, I, and I thought it was one or two. I just didn't know exactly which one. So anywho, and so, so and we had never really met before. And I just remember that we played the show in Lonnie, and that you know where this is probably going. Um, so we played the show in yep. Lonnie, and then after the show, we were hiding in the dressing room because there was this person. Scre wasted, screaming, 
for Jeff to come out because they wanted to talk to Jeff. And I was like, you can't go out there. This person says he's going to eat you. And he was just like, Jeff, fuck you. Where are you? Come out. I deserve to see you. It was like, oh, it's crazy shit. And we're like, just stay in here. So yeah. after a while, we didn't hear him anymore. And then we just heard screaming from outside. So I was like, what's going on now? So I went into the alley. I remember we all went into the alley. And we, and we saw the three of you, all the camp copes, in the middle of all of these bouncers, like stopping these bouncers from killing this person. Because they were trying to kill him. He had a death wish, this, like, drunk lunatic. And the three of them, you know, these the three members of Camp Cope, who maybe all together, if you put them all together and then gave them a bunch of cheeseburgers, would weigh one of these (laughs) bouncer men. We're all just, like, fighting and screaming. I was like, these girls are fucking crazy. Holy shit. (laughs) And that was, was like... I think I had... I had symbols on my arm at the time because I used to have one that had a strap. And I remember I still had it on after like five minutes of fighting this guy. I was like, oh, this is actually weighing me down a little bit. Yeah. I I mean, right there, I was just like, oh, these girls don't fucking play. This is crazy. Okay. So. Do you remember I got a big, the one, the kid, because he didn't even know he was like, we were trying to help him. He. He grabbed this big chunk of ice. Oh, and he threw and it. Threw it, and remember, it hit me in the head, and I had a big egg on my head for the rest of the tour. Yeah, we saved but his. Anyway, you, you know. saved his life, and then he threw ice at you. He yeah, was, and he I was... ripped his girlfriend's shirt off accidentally. Remember, because mm-hmm. I was pulling her, and she yeah. was trying to fight me too. And she was throwing she, shoes. I was holding her shirt. Oh, fucking! I hell. remember at one point I had, anyway. to, I had to take that kid like down the block and like remove him from the situation. And I was like, "You need to leave because you're gonna die. These big guys are gonna it's, kill you." Yeah. And I don't want to see that. I don't. I don't know no. what you want anymore because it's probably wrong. But I just don't want to see you die. <laughs> Cause it'll make me feel bad. I saw some yeah. monkeys before today. I'm having a nice day, and then I'm gonna see a man be murdered. That's not what I'm trying to do. So that was Camp Cope, John DiDominici. <laughs> me right away, right out the gate. I was like, look at these people. This is this oh, is I'm this sorry. is this I'm is really sorry no. Don't be that. sorry. It was. <laughs> I think I think it like it just it lets me. So whenever like whenever I see, um, I don't know if you. Whenever I see you guys like online, just like fucking ripping into people who deserve it i'm like it's not surprising to me see you see me or for, for me to see you go so hard at people i'm like yeah they don't fucking care they'll take on anyone you know if they if they that's their that's their thing if they're you know if they feel like someone's fucking being shitty they'll let them know and they don't give a fuck who it is oh, and i was God. like that's pretty it's, badass it's really lucky we're alive isn't it it's lucky we're alive in this world to this very day but, yeah you know that's okay yeah well you know you don't have the things like we have to worry about like constant guns and and trump uh you know yeah i have i have actually been told multiple times when i'm in america because the first couple of days i'm like yeah it's cool i'm still allowed to just run my mouth off a little bit that's okay and then after like one or two days whoever's with me is often like you can't be saying that here you just can't be (laughs) Telling a security guard to fuck himself. You can't do that. You're going to get shot in the head. Like, oh, okay. Zip that little thing up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you never know. You never. That's you. You never know what they're going to do. It's a. Uh, it's truly it's a, a surprising nightmare every day. And and it's and everywhere we go is different too. Like America is like its own like. Like all, like a whole bunch of like little crazy countries that you can just pass through as you go oh, through. You, you never know what's gonna happen. Two crazy countries. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, okay, what's gonna happen in this one? You know, there's new rules oh, today. Some of uh, them are scarier than others, aren't they? Some of them are scarier than others. Um, and then some of yeah, they're all they all have a lovely thing, usually. Um, mm. but you know, there's a lot. There's mm. there's some yeah. uh, there's some questionable stuff in all of them too. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess that, I guess that that's a good, um, uh, starting thing though. It's, um, uh, so, what, so by the way, Tom was from Australia, if you can't tell as it's, uh, the next morning there, if anyone is uh, unaware of this, but, um, uh, and a musician that is toured in America. So what, like just straight away jumping out, what is like your like biggest, like, America is different because of this, like while you're touring, like what is like the biggest, like oh. the thing, and it doesn't have to be good. 
because it probably isn't there's <laughs> there's so many things there's just so many things i don't even i couldn't even begin um uh every single part of it is different than touring anywhere else in the whole entire world i think but do you remember when we the, our f- very first minute we got into america and we got obta- uh, detained yes that was probably like that oh, was geez, you, that yeah. was crazy <laughs> Forgot we about got that. detained for like seven hours or something for no reason because they probably heard about our little scrap with the with the security guards. Yeah, but yeah. And then we drove we drive in and it was it was um, the fourth of July, and for, get out of this seven hour holding cell where we experienced some you know very questionable shit, and uh, then we drive out. Jeff had organized, Jeff and Christine had organized a, a car to pick us up and drive us to Jeff's house. And um, yeah, just we were driving along and like Kelly had never been, I'd never been in the States. Kelly had never been in the States. Kelly had never even left the country. Really? And so we're driving and it's like, yeah, at all. Wow. So it was, no, it was the 5th of July. So we're driving out of the airport and there's just like literal piles of garbage, like <laughs> as far as the eye can see. We're just like, what the living fuck happens in this country? No one even <laughs> notices. There's literally fucking a garbage truck has tipped itself all over the fucking ground everywhere as far as the eye can see. And then it's like, oh, okay, it's it's the 5th of July and literally everyone's just been throwing shit all over the ground because that's what you do on the 4th of July, apparently. Well, to be fair to America, Kevin, perfect uh, <laughs> p- uh, crowbar punisher Kevin, um, yeah, he, he says the same thing when he comes to New York. He's just like, "See, so y'all just throw your garbage on the ground here, because there's just on garbage." The so, and if you're n- not in New York, the garbage goes in like recept in in the bin, like in you know in Australia, okay. the trash goes in the bin. In New York, it's a weird it just kind of goes it's out. A fucking crazy. It just, just, it just chuck it in the bin. chuck it in the bin. Um, in New York, it more just goes on the street, or just it just gets out of your house. There's just not enough bins in New York. Is similar to that. There's just not enough. They place. couldn't possibly get more bins. No, that's not a thing they can do. Where but would they get them? Where would they get them? From? It's not like anyone. I, think, I know one thing that, one thing that like always happens to me, and it's by the end of a tour, like especially if we're there for like eight weeks, I just have like, like Lou, like you know Lou from of you course know, every band on earth. Yeah. She Lou's she my hero. Gives me <laughs> she gives me a lot of shit for this because like, the difference in the states you know how it has different like taxes and if you there's tax on the thing or not and blah 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 so anyway every time i go to the gas station i'm like pay in the dollar bills so i'm like paying and then i stand in the line and i count all my little tiny little pennies and things and i'm like okay i've got all the money i need and then i get to the counter and it's like cool a dollar 30 and then they go a dollar 67 and i'm like fuck me dead so i just like <laughs> get another note out and give it to them and then I just end up with literally bags and bags of change and then Lou caught me one day she's like what are you doing and I was like nothing and because I keep getting piles of it and just throwing it under the van because I don't know what to do with it and it's worthless and it's worthless money it's It's not it's not like it's not like in England or Canada where you're getting like dollar or two dollar coins it's just or Australia it's or yeah 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 yeah, exactly for sure where you're from (laughs) um it it, it's it's like it's things that are a penny what the fuck are you gonna buy it's just give they just give you garbage just, they give you garbage and there's no bins to put it in. And then you, <laughs> like, I, I have this fucking money and everywhere you walk, like, that's what Lou says. She's like, you can tell where you've been. I saw you were in that toilet stall because there's literally a pile of money following you because I have probably the equivalent of $3. I don't know. It's just literally fucking too much money. Uh, but it's not worth it anything. I couldn't even buy one thing with it. No, you couldn't. You can't even get a Starbucks for three dollars. So I probably need a list of states and if they charge tax, then I can count my money, give them the money, and it'll be the money that I'm supposed to give them. Yeah, they all charge tax. It's just all different. Um, uh, some states have different yeah, the different if it's amount. On the tag. Yeah, they should just yeah. say what it is yeah. at the end. Yeah. Like this will be this much. Uh, they know. That's 
that's the thing about America. They just need to tell you what it is. Just tell me what you want and I'll give it to you. Yeah. Well, I that's. I want to do math. That's the like our breakfast. That's like our tax as a person that we have to do. They, they um, uh, th- you have to send them the amount of money that you think they think you think you owe at the end of the year in taxes. So, so they don't just give you a number. No, they, but the, they don't. But they know what the number is. But they don't tell you they know what the number is because if you don't send them enough, they fine you or they just put you in jail. But they know what you're supposed to give them. Right. But they just won't tell you they know. It's a it's a cool oh, system. That's cool. <laughs> there that are sounds really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's another cool <laughs> system. Um, someone just told me that there's no tax in <laughs> Delaware, so you can go okay. to Delaware. Made famous from that scene in Delaware? Wayne's I've, in Wayne's World. I've, I've Hi, been to Delaware. I'm in Delaware. I've played, I've played in Delaware with um at a cool place with um uh, pinball machines and stuff everywhere. Do you know the one that place? It's like I played there with with Thin Lips and Warriors. Hmm. And it's like literally pinball machines everywhere, and they've got like a they've got like a hundred million types of beers. You know how I can't uh, order beers in America because I get too confused of like sure. which, ones, which one I want. And mm-hmm. then this place has just got like hundreds and, and the so many that the TVs change and the list changes. And I'm just like, I don't fucking know. Just give me, just give, just me, give anything. me one and just, I'll just throw all these fucking pennies at you. Yeah. Here's... And you'll yell at me and say, that's not even nearly enough. That's not, no. You're fucking you... idiot. Because all those beers are a million dollars because they're all nine billion percent. You don't want those beers. You want the that's fucking, it. you want the I chiller. Want you want the chill beers. You want the session beers. That's always what I want yeah, every time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> See, I don't want these beers with like 10% alcohol because you could drink two of them and then you're, you fall asleep. I want like, the ones I can drink like eight of throughout like a nice and have like a nice chat with my friends throughout the night. Like that's and maybe have a snack. I don't want these like, yeah. like you know, these, these I feel like is these this, beers are is, are daring me to like them. They're like, fuck you. Too much to ask. Yeah. It's too much to ask and I have a beer. I feel like it's threatening me like as a person. Like it's trying to like insult me. It's like, oh, yeah, you think you like beer? Well, I'm 15 percent. Fuck you. You can't handle me. It's like, Why? Why are we get like? Why is this aggressive to me? You're a beer. I feel like that. That your your accent and your loudness of voice is the voice of that beer. If it for had sure. a voice, for that sure, would be the exact one. I love it for sure. And it's only amplified that I, I'm watching The Sopranos. So every time I talk, I oh. feel like I'm in The Sopranos, which doesn't help that like it was so. It's like basically like all of those people. I'm like those are my uncles. I'm Italian. Yeah. Oh my! Well, uh, <laughs> do you remember that um that that first tour that we did together? So if you if you can imagine people out there, there's we've got me and Georgia and Kelly. It's not like any of us shut up. Then we've got Chris Farron, doesn't like to shut up. We've got Jeff Rosenstock and John, the two loudest men on the face of the earth, <laughs> and poor Christine trying to scream over the top of everyone, and Kevin and. <laughs> Poor Dan P just like trying to sleep. And it just was like a moving box of like 10 people just screaming. That was we were, I remember the, saying he, the loudest we tour like, of all time. John, don't talk so loud. And you're like, I just sound like this. That is, I, I'm a white man from New York. That's, like, okay, that's what fine. we, that's what well, we yeah, sound too. like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was the loudest tour of all time. There will never be a louder van situation than that just everyone screaming (laughs) for eight hours i can't i mean and it does it doesn't i guess it didn't matter that greg he's talked so quiet he could have had a fucking megaphone you would have never heard him like (laughs) i don't think we heard him say one word on that whole trip no and i sat in the front all the time and he would talk and i was like i just can't hear this man like i'm like you got to talk louder dude like everyone is just constantly screaming just screaming and, and at one point, like Jeff, Jeff and Chris wrote a song in the car. Oh remember? yeah, like, like a telephone, like writing a t- an, an like, ad, like a telephone, an ad jingle. for a telephone or something. Yeah, like and a so telephone, just screaming, jingle. making up lyrics. I was like, this can't get louder. But anyway, here we are. Yeah, getting yeah, louder. I couldn't believe it. I was like, somehow this has gotten crazier. <laughs> and it was like at nine in the morning every day too. It was like wake up, hungover, like drink 
like have a beer, have a Baraka, and then somehow exist in this box where everyone is screaming. <laughs> a moving sound box. Everyone is yeah. just as loud as they can be for, you know, and I don't know if people know this, <laughs> like a lot of the other countries that you'll tour in have very small drives, short drives. Like if you go to Europe or England, there's a lot like four hours, five, they, they like, you know, they bands from over there, they freak out if a drive is like more than three or four hours. Not Australia. Australia is mm-hmm. fucking big. It's got some big old America drives in there. So there's a lot of eight hour drives on those things. So. Yeah. I think we drove Newcastle to Brisbane, didn't we? That's like, that's like 11 hours or something. And yeah. then we played that night. We were all losing our goddamn fucking minds. Oh yeah. That, and that, screaming. And screaming. I can't, I don't know how any of us had a voice anymore. I, I feel like the, the, like the best thing to come out of that is probably that, uh, like, because I know Georgia does the same vocal warm up as everyone does now. Georgia mm. probably just saw Jeff doing it. And was like, I and like, I was like, oh, this is a necessary, necessary, necessary thing because we're screaming every day. I'm never gonna be able to sing again. <laughs> oh yeah, that was it. Was good. That was a good time. That is good. Um, that was fun. That was a very fun tour. It was great stuff. Um, it was very fun. One of my favorite tours. Yeah, yeah, that was um. Yeah, that was great. On As number two. Number two. That's that's pretty good. Very lucky. And I, I feel... It's really lucky. Yeah, I feel like, too, like, usually you have a band... Um, I mean, I'm, you, I'm sure you've seen this at this point, too, where a band who's on their second tour and first proper tour is a fucking mess. Mm. Y'all were fine. Mm. Y'all were pros right out the gate. So, which was... Which was I trained uh, my kids very early to be I, very punctual. <laughs> And that's the only thing. I don't give a shit what else you do, but if they say you got to be there at four, you got to be there at four. So, <laughs> and also in Australia, we catch planes a lot, so you can't really be late. You know, to a van, it's just like cool. Be it be it like van call is like eight o'clock, and it's like people roll in at like twenty past. It's like in Australia because we tour on planes. It's like cool. Be at the airport at eight. It's like okay. Otherwise, I'm gonna miss my plane. Yeah, and that's gonna be bad. We had never done in saying that Georgia Georgia's done some, you know, she'll be at the airport. There's been times we've been literally me and Kelly were on a flight. Like we were sitting on the plane in wherever the fuck we were. Maybe it was Melbourne. I don't know. We were on the plane and we were flying to Perth, other side of the country, the equivalent of Florida to LA. And there's like final call, final call. And we're just like, where the fuck's Georgia? An empty seat next to us. And she's like, we're texting her. And she's like, oh, I just went to get a burrito. Well, like they literally called final call. Like, <laughs> why did you then leave and go and get a burrito? So it's, I mean, you can try your very best, but at the end of the day, sometimes your little kids be naughty, you know? <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop her from getting a burrito at the time she's, we're supposed to fly. That's true. I I feel like we had never done a tour like that until our last Australia tour where we where we flew to every show. And it was it sucks, doesn't it? it? It's fucking miserable. Like it's cool that like you yeah, don't have to be in the car, waiting. but it's like you have to wake up every day at like 5 a.m. to get to the airport or whatever it is cuz your mm-hmm. flight and then you have to and I'm a bad flyer. Like I have to take anxiety medicine when I'm on the plane and like I feel I'm fucked up for a whole day when I fly. Like, I just don't feel good. Yeah. Like, and, and I'm all, you Aww. know, woo, my head's in the sky because I'm all fucking Xanaxed out. Um, so, but then I have to play a show that night. It's just like, it was hard. It was really hard. Yeah, it was really, really hard to do. Fucking, it absolutely fucking sucks. Like it's, I guess we just get really used to it. But like when I remember the first like us tour we did and then, you know, after that Europe and all that sort of stuff, how you just like wake up. It's so much easier just because you don't have to be like ready to go. You just like, when we, like we all have our methods, like, you know, we're all the three of us are quite, have our different methods, obviously. Like Kelly gets up, maybe goes, has a swim or something like that. And then like is ready to go. She's early riser. I just get up, get, have a shower, whatever, get dressed. Literally like Georgia sets her alarm for like two minutes before, lobby call and that's what you can do in a van you just literally 
poke her and then she sort of gets up and just puts shoes on and like gets back in the van and just goes back to sleep it's like you can do that you can't do that when you got to catch a plane no it's stupid no you can't you ignore is like that stupid. Mike, mike is like that he'll sleep till the last yeah. last couple minutes and then he'll get in the van i'm i'm probably the first one to get up because i'm like kelly i like i'll go run on the treadmill but i'm really mm-hmm. i'm usually just doing that because i probably drank too much the last night and then in my in my brain, I think if I can run for an hour on the treadmill and not throw up, I'm not gonna throw up tonight when we play, and that's 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 true. That's what I'm thinking. So and and it's also have you ever thrown have uh, you ever thrown up on stage? No, but this is for people listening and watching too. Um, there will be nights where I will make sure there is a garbage pail near me. Because I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Up on the way to stage. Oh really? When I've had I had food poisoning in America in Santa Ana uh. in California. It was very bad, and I felt really really sick. And it was like, you know that venue there that's like it's got a big big room at the back, and there's oh a the conserv the conservatory. The yes. Um. And it was so hot. It was like 47 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, like a hundred and it's a hundred, it's a hundred something. something. It's, it's, like it's, it's, it's unga- it's, it's not the it's temperature hot. it should be. <laughs> no, it's, it was like unbearable. And so they put us in the, the, the fancy green room cause it had better air conditioning. And like, it was a bit of a walk and it was even like too much of a walk with, with um food poisoning. And I just remember like getting to the side of the stage and just grabbing a bin and just like vomiting into the bin. It was disgusting. And then playing and then doing the same thing on the way off. But <laughs> I've never, that's it. That's pretty but good. We all know Kelly's, we know Kelly's done a little funny thing at a all ages show, don't we? Oh, of course. Of course. We, we were, that's uh that, that's my only, um uh, that's my only uh mark above her is that's the only thing I can hold over her head. <laughs> Everything else I can't, but I can, I can always say that. At least I, at least uh, I wasn't I was, I hung was, over at the All Ages show. Um, I, I was telling a couple of friends that last night that that was your first meeting with Kelly, the airport. Oh, hi, I'm John. Oh, hi, John. What do you play? I play bass. How does it feel to be the second best bass player on this tour? I was like, you little shit. It's like right away. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, wow, then, first immediately. Best bass player who didn't vomit at the All Ages show, wasn't it? Well, at the All Ages that's show true. at, at you know, in the afternoon, too. I think that's important mm. to also mention that it wasn't like it was at night. This was like 11 a.m. No. Lots of kids just waiting outside the bathroom to, like, to get a photo with Kelly, and she's just, in there. Just vom. Yeah. Just straight yeah, vom. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> that's good stuff. Yeah. In in our defense, they did give us a lot of free cocktails that night, didn't they? Was crowbar? that we the crowbar. crowbar? Oh yeah, that we hung. That was like the, yeah, that was the night was we the hung really crowbar. hard. Kevin got Kevin had the yeah. Punisher hang out with us. That was yep. no good. Um, <laughs> I think I think I got in trouble that night. I was trying to bring a coffee inside, and the bouncer I was like, "You can't bring your coffee in here." And I was like, "Why?" He's like, "No outside drinks." I'm like, "It's a fucking coffee, man." He's like, "No outside drinks." I'm like, "I'm in the band. It's late." I need to stay away. He's like, no. I was like, oh, wait, fine, fine. <laughs> or he's like, how do you know? I was like, how do I know you're in the band? I'm like, well, I'm older than everyone here, and listen to my fucking voice. <laughs> Clearly not from it's around like here. Until then. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, but it's Queensland for you. It's a bit weird. Oh yeah, Queen. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Good old Brizzy. Um. Good, what a what a place! That was my first Australian. That was the that was the place I landed the first time, and I st- I spent like three or four days on our first first European or uh, Australian tour, uh, like a million uh, years ago. So I I, I knew Brisbane. Really? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Queensland is is my first was my first Australian experience because that's where oh, Matt. Nice. That's where well, Matt. They should have they should have known. They should have should have known that you were bloody bloody in the band. I know. I know. Ridiculous. Please. Yes. Uh, for sure. So listen. Um, speaking of food poisoning, and then just food, I uh, I asked a couple mm-hmm. people, um, uh, some of my friends who are like big 
uh, Camp Cope fans. I asked them, I was like, I'm talking to Tomo today. Do you want me to ask Tomo anything? Like, would there's anything, anything that you're interested in, in, in uh, Tomo's opinion on? And a lot of, a lot of the questions revolved around American bread or bagels. Like, yeah. Do you have a, yep. what is your, what, why, what is your opinion on American bread and or bagels? I love bagels. Bagels are the best. They They're are so the best. good. Okay. We don't really. It's it's not a thing here, really. Like we don't. It's it's unfortunately not a a thing. Like we just have like you know, a toasty as as we'd call it. But like sh- sh- the sure. bread. That's just another thing, you know. That's just unbelievable. That thing. It's. I don't know if if you haven't been outside of America, it's really hard to explain that the bread in America tastes like cake. It's like real sweet. <laughs> And I don't eat sugar. Well, like sandwich so I bread. I really had a time. Yeah. So like here, it's like the bread is kind of like all like very savory. And then I didn't know. And then I went over there and every time I'd eat something, I'd be looking inside it like, is there something on here? Is there some honey mustard or some shit? Like, you know, <laughs> why is this taste like a fucking donut? And then it's always <laughs> sweet bread. And it was like fucking driving me mad and I'd try and try and try and try and just be like and then I realized like I on the last tour that we no the one before last I even like got this sandwich and I was like check the bread and I you know it, it, Whole Foods is like the, the the bakery thing and I was like yep it's like rye or sourdough or something I was like good 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 and then they give it to me and I had um it had, had bacon or something on it maybe it was maybe like a BLT or something and it, the 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 bacon was cooked in sugar, maple and it was bacon just or something. Like, sure. Yeah, yeah. Love sugar. We love sugar over so here. Much. We well, not to get political. Well, I don't eat I don't eat sugar at all. So it's like it's it. I guess I notice it really a lot. But the bread is pretty hectic, isn't it? Well, not not to get political or anything, but like I yeah. feel like. Uh, America has this thing where we give each other things that are bad for you because America makes money when we get sick on a, unlike That's your right. country where it's in the best interest of Australia for you not to get sick. It's in the best interest of America for me to be sick. So that's why yeah, our true. bacon has sugar on it and our bread is cake. <laughs> and it's why I think because – the like if you buy a whole field a whole whole fields whole foods like breakfast like you know just some breakfast burrito or something and like a coffee and maybe a bottle of water and then it's like seventeen dollars and then if you go to McDonald's and you get like a triple XL jumbo gigantic meal with the extra fucking shit and a dollar a dollar thirty or something and yeah. you're like what I don't know this is fucking outrageous yeah. How do you think I feel when, like, to get things vegan, like, in, at fast food places? Oh, like, li- literally, yeah. if you go to, like, the sandwich places, like Subway, if there's, like, there are sandwiches mm-hmm. where if you ask them to take the meat off the sandwich, it's more money than the meat being, there's, like, it's it's more money that, than, than being on there. And you're just, like, there's less ingredients that should cost less. I'll like, eh, tell you. Oh, my God. So there, it's. Well, because, you know, it, like, in our van, it's, like. I'll eat sort of anything. Georgia and Kelly are vegan, but Kelly's celiac. So it's like eating in America is, uh, it can get weird. We just go to Whole Foods every single day. That's... And now they're owned by Amazon, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, you're, you're going to have a hard time finding something good to support in America or just anywhere, honestly, yeah. you know. It's it's yeah. What's the uh? We there's... like it was funny. We we bumped into um. We when when we were doing that last tour. So the first half was with Thin Lips, and and the second half was with Anne Horse, and we were still on the Thin Lips part. But Anne Horse were around in Texas, and we bumped into them like we hadn't seen them or knew where they were. We bumped into them in the car park at Whole Foods in Austin, and we were like, "What are, what are you doing?" And they're like, "This is the only place Australians can eat in America." Remember? And I was like, "Oh yeah, that's right." <laughs> Where else are we going to go? Two tastes like cake. 
but <laughs> the bagels is that that bagel place across from Jeff's old house. Oh, it's like I've never eaten anything like that. Like just with the egg and cheese, so good. I wish we had that. Oh yeah, we don't have that. the bagels in Brooklyn especially. No, you can get it if you try, but like it's it's not like you don't just walk anywhere and get it. You know. Well, you can't even get that once you leave New York. You really can't find a bagel mm. like that. You can like as soon as you leave, basically the 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 city or Lo- Long Island has really good yeah. bagels too. So where I live has good bagels, and then like Manhattan and you know the the five boroughs have good bagels. But once you pass mm. out of there. It's fucked. There's, it's, it's just not a thing anyone That's does well anymore. So it's really only in New York. It's just so good. Oh. Yeah, it's. I it's, just remember it's, the first time I had one at, at Jeff's house. It was like Christine maybe was like going to get it, or Jeff was going to get it, and he's like, "What do you want?" I'm like, "I don't know. I don't know what what bagels do. Just get me whatever you get." <laughs> and I was like, "This is ridiculous. I love this shit." Yeah, they're they're fucking for real. It was Haley's birthday like a month ago when we were like truly trapped. In, in, in the in, in uh, our houses. Yeah. And uh that's what I like amongst other things, that's what I got her for her birthday was I got us bagels. Because it was like like this is because we couldn't we couldn't get them because you couldn't go get them. So it was like we I got a, I had bagels delivered and it was it was a big hit because you know oh, she's not from I, here. I I I feel like ah uh, true. There's I think there's like a one place like down south in Melbourne somewhere, like on the other side of the river. Is like there's one place that does like proper like bagels bit. I just never go over there, you know, and it probably wouldn't be as good. No, well, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, you never know. I don't know. There's some. I feel like there's. I, f- I feel like there's always places that you are kind of like secret. They're like, oh, this is a person from Brooklyn that moved across the world, and now they make bagels like they make in Brooklyn, but in Melbourne. And that happens sometimes. That's yes. like how you'll find like good yes. pizza, like in like Nebraska. Mm. I'm like, how's this here? Yeah. It's like, oh, this guy used to live in That's fucking true. Queens. That's why. You know. That is one thing that like I will a hundred percent say that like in America, the pizza is just so much better. Well, it's a it's different just thing. So good. The pizza it's just so good. The bread is just so bad, but the, the pizza <laughs> is so fucking good. But there's bread on the pizza. But yeah, oh, sometimes the pizza bread is a little bit sweet, but it is. They only, put sugar in it's it. It's only happened to me like once or twice. A cu- most of the times I've had it, it's been pretty good. Well, that's good. I've gotten stung a couple of times, but that's okay. Stung by uh by too it's sweet. A- the su- the sweetness is stingy. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's but good. not often. Not often. Not often. Okay. Um. No. <laughs> so we were talking before we started. Um. I think this is a cool, interesting thing that uh you are still working and you work. Mm-hmm. For Poison City. Yep. Um, so I, yeah. I, I was just wondering, to, just for me, like, so how has all of this changed? Has it changed anything in like, I mean, sure, it's changed stuff in your day to day. But like, what what is like, how how are you as a label like operating within it? And is there a way that you can like help? Because I know because you, you have, you're you're you get to look at it from like two sides. You have I am the label and I'm also the music mm-hmm. human. Like, is there a way that you're able to like. Yeah kind of like say like hey everyone like we're gonna help with this or is, is there anything you can do for bands and stuff like that or is there anything like you're like able to like sort of like wet help weather or is there anything that is a plan to help weather or is it or just what is what is going on like as a label yeah it's weird because it's it's like i guess a lot of stuff that was coming that we had like sort of planned to put out and stuff like that this year has been pushed back like and just it's obviously just not coming out because you know obvious reasons um or whether it can even be recorded because over here we can't go record anything unless you want to do it at your house i suppose um but yeah i guess there's been a few things like you know a lot of we've been doing a lot of merch for bands like just because they've got that's you know the main mm-hmm. source of income so it's like sure just there's definitely been a lot of bands is dropping off boxes of merch and we'll just sell it for them and stuff like that like Bandcamp, obviously that thing's been really good with the giving the hundred percent of money to the bands like a lot of the labels have been doing that too which that, is cool that has been very yeah, nice yeah it's, it's so nice yeah, but they, it's just a weird yeah time, weird time because I, like i don't know there's even been a few things that like i've sort of thought about with it's like cool if you can record this 
uh, the pressing plants are operating at like, you know, 50% capacity. Yeah, for like, sure. Is there going to be, how long is this going to take? Like, you know, it's usually like three months or something. Mm-hmm. What is it going to be? What if it's six months? It, it's hard to plan yeah, that's, a release. Yeah, that's that's in the, the air. Moment. That's in the air always. It's like three months. And mm-hmm. then if Jack White wants to make a record, it fucks everything up for everyone. So you never you never know about yep. that. So, yeah. I know. Like I was thinking that. Like imagine like being like, cool, we've recorded. We're going to have this is the release date. It's like, oh, cool, your records are not going to be ready for like eight months. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? I don't know. Like it's, it's a fucking weird time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a very weird time. I don't know. Like I just don't know what will happen yeah. with that. Yeah, I mean, I don't. A lot of the plants are in Europe, so I guess it's like they're sort of slowly – opening up a little bit and i guess not as many people are recording so yeah they couldn't who knows yeah it's all a big, it's all a big waiting game isn't it mm-hmm. yeah i guess find no one, out what, what's gonna happen no one knows like i'm surprised that jeff and christine have um uh were able to have like pretty solid like our record will ship this day when we put our record out i was like oh because mm. i had no idea like that's one one i just don't know because yeah, i don't ask but like i guess they were able to actually get like sure dates from people like oh that's cool like you could get that but like i was surprised because yeah who knows what the fuck's happening you know every day is different totally. especially over here and isn't, isn't the isn't your new one isn't it did i see this like glow in the dark or something some of them yes there's uh there was 2500 that polyvinyl had that are glow in the dark so and i think Think, so, and they even gave the date for that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I th- and I think those are. I think they might have just sold out today. If not, there's like twenty left. I actually That's wrote to sick. them. I wrote to them, and I was like, "Please send me one of these." This is, you know, very I've rarely. I've never seen glow in the dark final. That's I have. Great. I haven't either. I'm very excited. That's cool. Um, all the art. All... Just sit there and listen to it in the dark. Yeah, and then. You know, and then maybe you could just you could dance around and you won't trip because you'll That's see true. it'll just light up the whole house. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I'm I'm new to the vinyl. Honestly, I just I, I bought a record player finally this year and I spent like proper money and I started like I'm going to get vinyl. And Ooh. then and then then all my jobs went away for the next decade. So that was a bummer. I was like, oh, cool. I'm really glad I spent mm. like $1,000 on this, and now I'm never going to make money again. <laughs> but um, I, uh, I'm going to get the same. Like I, I I, had a record player, and it broke, and then I've never replaced it. So I've got records, but I just don't – I'll wait. One day I'll buy a fancy one like you, and then I'll start, you know, actually doing it. It's so not like a Jeff's house. He's got like a great setup, you know? Like he's oh, yeah. got all the – millions of things and he knows where they all are yeah i don't know how he does he good. Can... and i like that it makes me happy it makes me want to have that i'll have to do it one yeah time. he was my inspiration when, when for getting world... the record he's good he just he consumes so much point. music he's just constantly listening to stuff it's wild it's just like do you just want to yeah. like just hang out and not have sound he's like no i'm like okay all right cool <laughs> he just needs it it's very crazy um so I had a que- another question. Um, I was doing some, uh, or I was I was reminiscing about what I remembered about y'all, um, and then I ca- I came across something. Um, yeah. So Hello. when you no no no, this is funny and good, and I and just I I was just like, is this real? Um, so when y'all yeah. play the opera house, how many times? Twice, right? Uh, or more? Tw- twice. It was like tw- two times the fi- I guess it was three shows. Okay. Two, two times. Okay. Um, yeah. And anyone who doesn't know, the Opera House is like the big like architectural wonder of Australia. And it's also a concert venue. And it's on their money. It's a big deal. It's like playing Radio City, but like uh, like but bigger here. I don't, I, I don't know what you would call it. It's a big deal. Um, just people don't know. But so you opened one of those shows with fucking Warning by Green Day? <laughs> yeah that's the fucking we most did. punk thing in the world <laughs> that's when I, I was like are you I... that's insane <laughs> i i was running i was like i was listening i was today this afternoon i was listening to camp cope while i was on my treadmill running and i was reading stuff about you know about just like reading just things um 
and I literally almost tripped because I was like, I, I like couldn't believe that. <laughs> Whose idea was that? I think it was like Kelly used to just always play the riff, you know, when mm -hmm. we were sound checking, and then it just. They were trying to annoy me because they were like, we should play this. And I was like, no. And then they just keep playing it until I'd play it, you know what I mean? And Because they're little shits. And um, we did it like a couple of times in like just as, you know, in some venues where you like don't get a proper, proper sound check or even if you do like once you start playing, it sounds shit anyway. Oh, so yeah. we'd like do like a little bit of that and then you sort of, as like a, a test. And um, so we're like, fuck it, let's just do it. I honestly don't remember playing that show at all was, because it was like was that the first is, time? Which is great because it was the second time. So that was the big room, so the, right? The big one. Yeah. So like the first time was like um two like th there's a 700 capacity room and we did two two of those like back to back and it was like very scary still because it's like it's a you know it's a concert hall. Sure. And then the, the next time we it was like the big, big room, it's like, it's like 3000 people and it goes up and up and up. And it's where they have like the ballet and the symphony orchestra and stuff. So you can hear a pin drop in that place. And it was terrifying, but like we flew in from the States and we landed in Sydney and then we had a sleep and then we went to the opera house. So, so it was like, we were so fucked. Like we just finished an eight week tour. It was like, I couldn't even stand up and I, you know, my method of trying to wake up, I had beer and I had a Barocca and I had everything. I had it all going on while I was running around the room. And I was just like so tired. And so we played for like an hour and a half. It was like a 90 minute set. And like, literally I've got zero. I got nothing about that <laughs> in my brain. It's, it was lucky we'd played for eight weeks. Cause like it was just muscle memory. You're just like, on autopilot. And, and I had friends. Yeah, I have friends, like, we had to play every song we've ever written because, like, you know, two albums, like, 90 minutes and a seven-inch. But, like, we, we had, like, a friend's, like, friends flew from um, Melbourne up to Sydney and it was, like, the, um, uh, I had on stage a kind of glass there. So I had, like, a, a, a bottle which I'd put a beer into, like a, 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 a you know, water bottle. And then I had water bottle that you could see had Barocca in it and then it had a water bottle with water in it. And my friends were watching being like, you were just picking up each one in a row again and again between <laughs> each song. But we all knew that it wasn't all water because one was Barocca and one was water and one was obviously beer. I was like, I don't, I didn't even know I had three drinks. I don't fucking know. What the fuck happened? I don't know. What happened? That's so, but that's. The, the first, the first, opera house shows that was the first time we ever played the opener in front of anyone ever oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With that isn't and there there's a video there's a video from that right there's like a video of you playing maybe i think there's or like maybe like before there's like i know i know there's like a, there's like a live video of y'all oh, playing the opener yeah, yeah, yeah. at That's the opera in, house in one of the yeah, so what happened was we played the, – the night we did the first Opera House show, we played um, the opener for the first time because we're like, fuck it, this is a fancy show. Like, let's play a new song. And um, then afterwards the Opera House contacted us and we're like, what was that first song you played? And we're like, oh, it's a new song. Had a different title at the time. Um, and then they're like, oh, do you want to come up and record it like in the opera house? I can film it. And we were like, yeah, sweet. <laughs> so to be honest, that, that video of the live recording inside that um, room in the opera house, the little room mm -hmm. um, probably sounds better than the record because we did like, had to do like 20 takes or something because the filming and mm -hmm. the one on the record, we did two takes. So it's probably <laughs> way better. Ah. It probably sounds better. Well, it sounds good. Uh, they both sound good. Um, that was actually, <laughs> it was funny. Um, uh, the, uh, I, I had a, a bass student and that was the first song they wanted to learn how to play. I was like, what do you want to learn how to do oh, on the I bass? They're so like, I want to learn to play the opener. I was like, all right, I'm familiar. Like, you know, you're familiar with that? that? I'm like, I know that song. I know these people. Oh. I'm Leia. familiar Leia's with actually, that uh, bass player. Leia's actually, they're in the chat right here. Um, uh, 
Oh, they, sweet. They, what they, a good wa- song they to learn. Waved. Full of bass yeah. lines. I've act- I, sent, I sent me a video afterwards playing it to Kelly. I was like, look, I'm learning yeah. your fucking tricks. Um, it's still number two, but whatever. <laughs> um, so you opened up the first Opera House runs with the opener, arguably your most mm-hmm. popular song to date, and then the second, the bigger Opera House show, Warning by Green Day. That's... Yes. That's it right there. I mean, you could tell me nothing more about your band, and I'd be like, that's a good band. I don't need to hear anything else. Like, I'm interested in whatever oh, they're going to do. <laughs> that's so And you need to just know that, and also that we love to have fights in car parks with security guards. Yeah, I mean, right there. It's just like, sign me up. <laughs> like, the, the warning opening up the biggest show uh, of your lives while playing a Green Day song, that's very very much a me and jeff thing like that's that 100 percent is like speaks to me on an extreme personal level where it's just like yeah that's oh, what you it. do that's that make you know i was like i knew i was friends with them for a reason like that like this wasn't just an accident this was supposed to happen yeah. that's very true <laughs> that's good stuff um you know what it wasn't just that you know that uh what is this? Okay. I'm just, I'm reading the chat here too. So I'm just seeing what's going oh. on. Um, yeah. And it wasn't just that. How's the uh, chat going? How's everyone in the chat going? Uh, they're going well. Um, they're, uh, they're Good. sharing uh, merch links and um, oh, they're talking. They're just, they're talking about stuff. They're having a nice time. It seems like everyone well, seems to be doing nice. well. Um, Babes is still here. She's still having a little sleep. That's good. Veebs is I actually should take I'm going to take a picture of this cuz you can't see it and I'm just going to text it to you cuz this this is what the screen actually looks like. You'll like this. This is all really good podcast material. It's visual visual stuff. Um I love it. Yeah. Um so then there was another thing I wanted to ask you about that um uh that I that I I think is Another thing what I that I that I, I was talking to you about at the show when I saw you in Brooklyn but I couldn't actually stay. Um, that I think yep. uh, the thing that y- that y'all do at all of your shows, the the uh, acknowledgement of country. That's right. That's the how you start your show. Yep. Mm-hmm. And you were doing that in America. Mm. So can you well, just? We did. Um, I know you when, did it in New we, York, when right? We could. We you did, could. Yeah. Can, yeah. Yep. I I I'm so just like interested to know just like how you got how you went about contacting people. Uh, how to do, like because I know you you would bring in a, a First Nation per- person to do it right in America. So, I mean, yeah. how, how you just because th- this is foreign shit to us. We don't obviously don't do that in America, which is you know that, which once I once you told me you were doing, I was like, why don't we all fucking do that? That's ridiculous. We don't. Um, but I, I was just like blown away. I was like, once again, it was one of those moments where I was like, in like a not fun, not in not like a laughy way, in like a serious way. I'm like, oh. That's why this band is my friends, because they're great. Look at this great thing they're doing that, like, is uh, is an inspiration. Um, but just because uh, it was awesome. I was like, oh, shit. Like, why has no one here ever thought to fucking do that? Um, but you, I just, like, if you yeah. want to just explain it, like, how you went about doing it. Because I think it's, like, just an interesting thing that no one here does. Yeah, well, I guess here, we sort of do it here. Um, obviously, Australia is pretty, you know, brutal with the First Nations people and it's um as it is there and as it is everywhere um Mm -hmm. most places but um so it's sort of just a normal thing that you you do here um you just do it yourself like an acknowledgement of um of the land that you're that you're standing on and you're playing on and stuff like that um and we sort of wanted to know if if it was a thing like in the states um because we'd never seen it before and obviously not being from there, we weren't sure what, you know, what the protocol was, if it was, you know, something that wasn't really right for us to do, um, if you need. Because there's different, you know, there's different protocol with every sort of thing like that. Sure. Like here, if, if you want to have like a welcome to country sort of thing, which is you have to have the person has to be from that land and sort of stuff like that. So we were asking sort of every band we knew. I think we probably asked Jeff. We asked all of our friends in America that we've that ever played in bands were like, do you know if this is a thing? Like, can we do it? Is it rude? Is it disrespectful? Is it good? Like, what do you think? And they're like, I think it'd be good. I just don't know how the hell you would do it. We're like, okay, cool. Um, 
So we spoke to um, the guys from Portugal, the men, you know, that band, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they're like, um, they're like, they were amazing. They were just like, we do it. Like it's, it's amazing. Like, cause they're big advocates for, for, you know, um, a lot of really good things actually, but one being they, they do a lot of, they always do the welcome to countries and stuff like that. Um, but we, they were so amazing. They were like, sort of told us the rules of it and it's similar to here where the person sort of has to be from that area um and it's not always possible to get people in each place but they did give us contacts for basically anywhere that they knew someone they put them in contact with us and which was fucking awesome so like it you know the new york show and in portland and in la and places like that was amazing like and it's a lot different here too like they'd come up and almost like tell a story about like the land and even their own personal stories and stuff like that. But yeah, it was, it was Portugal, the man, they hooked us up there. They were amazing. Like so, so amazing. And like, it was really cool. Cause like we met so many people on that, that trip. And also like, I think it was cool because a lot of people in the crowds like weren't aware that that was a thing. Cause it's, it's not something that happens. So it was a lot of, got to talk to a lot of people after about it and you know well they got to like we obviously didn't speak on their behalf but um yeah it was really really nice and like I I would love to do it again like next time whenever we're allowed to tour again um (laughs) yeah yeah those guys were amazing in in setting that all up like and just so like they didn't like even like no one probably even knows they did that they didn't be like oh we'll set it all up for you and we'll pay for it like they're paying for people to like fly to our shows and stuff and it's like they're like oh just let everyone know that we did it it's like they're just like yeah cool if you want to do it we'll make sure it happens it's like fuck this is so sick so like it's a lot to do with those guys it was really 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 cool that's amazing yeah i I didn't know that part of it lovely band of lovely 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 people that's great no yeah i mean like obviously yeah. like i think that uh it was an awesome thing that uh you helped facilitate because you know like similar to your country there's atrocities upon atrocities uh committed to these people and uh we don't do that at all here or, or i i've never mm-hmm. seen it the only time i've ever seen it is is in australia um and it'll, i guess and if, for people that don't know like it'll even like be posted like on green rooms i think for out of country bands just so they understand that what's happening sometimes and just like maybe you know just or just it's it's more it's a thing in australia where it is not at all in america um i think that was just a very cool thing to bring here you know like you know that's just a good thing to make people aware of yeah i think um i think it's just i know it's it's a it's a huge country you know the the population of america is a a hell of a lot bigger than the population of australia and it's just i think you know i think bands would do it i think it's we were the same we didn't know it was a thing until until we asked a lot of people um but yeah it was cool it was like i'm i'm happy that we did it because like and everyone was so so nice and stoked like as well to to be able to do it the the um the um person we had at the new york show actually it was it was really really cool it was like i was like you're a rock star you're the star of this show not us like because <laughs> he went up before us obviously and as a warsaw it's like a big venue you know mm-hmm. and he owned it we're like this is the best I, you just talk we'll just we just won't play this is better <laughs> we'll play quietly while you do this thing we'll play some nice mood just music tap along in the background yeah some yeah. little 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 you know, uh, so very quiet oh yes oh yes not, not too loud um no. so so <laughs> speaking of of yous actually um i yeah. I, I always laugh when you tell me things like i carry an extra pick in my or a few extra picks for kelly in my you know on me in case she I've loses probably them got one on me yeah and just let me have a look <laughs> But, but but more more so specifically more sp- specifically um and and how you refer to them as your children um yeah. was was this was and I asked this to a lot of people that I talked to in this in this uh situation um cuz I feel like a lot of the people I talk to are are uh are also kind of like the like the not the manager of the band but like the one that kind of gets shit done 
Um, was this like a role yeah. that like you were like, if I don't do this, no one is going to do this? Or was it or is this just something that like you're just because because I, I feel like in your life, you're just naturally in charge of st- stuff. Like you're just a person that just gets I things think- done. Or is, so do you, did you just immediately be like, all right, girls, this is how this is going to go. Or was it like a week <laughs> of being like, wow, nothing has happened. I better do something. <laughs> It was definitely the first one. I think um, <laughs> I think it sort of just happened naturally, I suppose, because I, 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 I'm older than – I'm like 10 years older than, than, mm-hmm. than Georgia. Um, and I I don't know. I guess it's my job as well. So And I've worked in this god-awful industry for a long time. So it was <laughs> sort of just like, okay, well – I know how to do this, so how about I just do it? Because it's like otherwise it's just fumbling around trying to figure it out when I can just do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. I think it's like it's just – and also I've got such a – you would know like a um, – just like to have control of things so that I know that it's going to be okay. Sure. You know? No, sure. Like, I mean – that's... If I do it, I know it's done and it's going to be fine. Yeah, that's like that's the same thing with like Jeff. It's just what he wants to do. Everything is like at least if I do it, I'll know I'm doing it the way I want it done, and that it'll get done. That's or it. if it doesn't get yeah. done, it's my fault. You know, I think he'd rather that's blame he'd rather blame and, himself and... than someone else, which I feel like is probably totally. a, a, a similar and vibe for you. And yeah, and Jeff and Christine are like a great duo they handle it like a fucking champions like why wouldn't they do it no i mean you know the 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 only the my only argument against them doing it sometimes is just i want them to take a break you know like i like mm-hmm. I just just for like my for just their sanity and just, like some of us are just like why don't you let someone else do that like let anyone do that, yeah. that like someone in the world does that job like if you didn't do that then you could relax and have an ice cream that'd be nice wouldn't you but like that they, they wouldn't- but then they would But they wouldn't relax. You, know? you wouldn't relax because you would be too worried it was happening. Um, which which is a mm. thing that and you also know. Like now, this is this time now is like the first time we're probably ever having a forced relax. Yeah, I was thinking about that uh, last night. Actually, it's like I feel like like fifty percent of you is probably like experiencing a vacation that you haven't had ever. <laughs> It like it was like, J- like know, Jeff ever. too. It's like you just you can't. There's like nothing to think about about the band because the band literally can't do anything. Yeah, it's it's honestly so bizarre because we cancelled a fair. I had to cancel like a fair bit of stuff, but um, it was yeah. It's like I haven't been in Melbourne this long. I reckon since 2016, maybe mm-hmm. 2015, probably. It's like it's been so weird, and at my own house, like usually I just pop back and leave again and pop back as you know you do the same thing sure so it's sure. really really weird it's very like, weird to be home i'm so in melbourne much. but i can't actually i can't do anything yeah you're you're really yeah. not anywhere you're just in you're just in your you're in your your pod you know your pod I'm could be house, anywhere yeah and then i and then i walk to poison city and then i walk back home but <laughs> we're allowed to go to the pub in two weeks i think so then i'll go to the pub as well that's good and <clears throat> I th- yeah. I, I want to I, I, I just want to clarify for everyone because I feel like if if you're in America and you hear like you're allowed to go to the pub, it's just like fuck you, no. Um, Australia has done a significantly better job with this situation than us. Um, uh, so it actually is safe to start doing things over there. Where over here, when you hear your friends saying they're going to the bar, you should tackle them and stop them. Mm. Uh, because it is not safe and, to uh, go and to I the definitely, bar. Uh, and I would definitely point out that it is in no way thanks to our government. Well, not our prime minister <laughs> anyway. He's a, he's a garbage bin, just like your one is a garbage bin. <laughs> but we have a lot less people and uh, people have been getting fined if they go out. So we had to stay in. So um, then that means we're allowed to go to the pub soon. But we'll see if everyone's an idiot. If they are, then we won't be able to go anymore, <laughs> I imagine. Yeah, who, you never know. I'll I mean, keep you updated. Yeah, I, I want to know because I feel like if y'all do okay, that means that eventually I can go to the pub again. And even though I don't necessarily yeah. well, want you... to go to the pub, but that means that maybe I could go play music again this decade. Yeah. Which could be cool. Yeah. It would be lovely oh, to play God, this it's new bizarre, record. Isn't it? I, it's... 
<laughs> it's it's just so crazy. It's, I feel like I have about. this. I feel like I have this look with everyone I talk to here because everyone's a musician, obviously, and we're all just like, who knows? We don't know. <laughs> I know it's. We've been told different dates about when international travel is going to happen, and it's it's fucking outrageous. It's just like I can't. I can't even imagine playing a show in Australia, let alone anywhere else. No. So weird. But people still are commenting, come to Denver, come to fucking Belgium. And you're like, do you know what's happening? <laughs> I can't come there. I can't even go no to the- Adelaide. I can't even go out of the- Yeah, Adelaide. Adelaide, don't get me. Perth, please. Please, Perth. I can't. There's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of that. Um, yeah, it's like I can't even go to the fucking movies over here. I can't go down the block. I can't go to the Home I Depot. Know, it's- let alone I would, fucking yeah, it's very, it's, it's very fucking bizarre because you're like, I get it, but you also, this is not a good time to be telling me to come there. I would come there if I was allowed to leave my fucking house. I would go anywhere right I'd now. I'd even go to Adelaide. I I'd would go to, go to Adelaide. Perth. I'd even go to fucking God, some fucking Beaver, Utah. <laughs> yeah, the I would. The worst place in the world. I would go anywhere in America. I'd go to any one of those miserable places in America or anywhere else. I don't give a fuck. I'd go anywhere right now if I could. Yeah. I would play. I'd play music <laughs> in a fucking in a lava pit right now if I could. It's just like, <laughs> ugh. It, you know. We're gonna I, have to play on the moon, aren't we? That's gonna be where it ends up. That sounds like a we've bad... destroyed this fucking planet. We're gonna have to go to fucking the other ones Space. and destroy them. That sounds like a really bad yeah. plane trip. I don't I I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bring yeah. up Xanax to get on that fucking boat. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that's what's gonna have to happen. We're gonna play on the fucking Mars with Ugh, that's <laughs> well, great. I love that. I love that situation. Um Let's try let's try and uh swing this back to something positive before we finish here. So I don't yeah. I don't know if you know this, but I think as people in the chat are saying, your band speaks to a lot of people in a very personal way. <laughs> um, obviously. Um is there so and I think I feel and like I said with, with, with like just the stuff that y'all do is very inspiring. Um, is there a band that you see coming up that that you feel is kind of like um a similar like similar situation like an Australia band or like even another band that like you feel like they get it too or like a like a just like a like 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 I like I, this band really is getting it and I'd love to do some work with them as well because I feel like you yeah, you are that band like, for so many people. Yeah, it's it's so so nice. Like it's um, it's like very 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 humbling when people say stuff like that. But um, there's definitely a bunch of bands that are I can't even think of like particular ones so much but there's so many young bands at the moment who it's just so fucking sick because you're like you literally just are doing this now like it sucks for us because we had to fight a lot of people but like it's kind of worth it now because you're like you're just doing it you're 18 years old and you're telling people fuck off when you don't get treated properly like this is fucking amazing like and hopefully like you know if people start doing that it's like trickles down as we know like you know so it's it's cool i've seen there's there's this band called uh teenage jones from adelaide actually they're like tiny they're tiny little um they're maybe like 20 or 19 i know one of them might have been might be younger because they we played a festival together and one of them couldn't actually come into the show without her mom and just watching bands like that, they're just like, I see them on the internet just taking no shit. I'm like, this is fucking sick. Do that. Everyone do that. Yeah. It's <laughs> good. It's it's good when you see that too. It's like, it's like also too, it's like, cause I feel like so many bands get stuck. They're like in, they're like in the machine and they're in the system. So they don't know how to speak, like say like, this is bullshit anymore. But you get those young bands, like they don't give a fuck. They're like whatever. Yeah, I'm and not. They, I'm they, not in your club. And they, I felt like, like I felt like y'all are the same. We're, we're the same way, and still are. But at the beginning too, just like immediately calling shit out on anything, like the festivals and all that shit. Like, well, fuck this, fuck you. And I was just like, man, they don't give any shits. And it's like, that's great, good. Get them, <laughs> fucking get them. Go get them. Yeah, I, I think it's like when, like, as we were saying before, like I'm ten years older than 
Georgia. And I guess when I, I'd stopped playing music for like seven years or something. I just given up. I was like, this fucking thing is stupid. Like it's, you know, when I was playing in bands in like the early two thousands and stuff, it's like, Oh, it's garbage. There's like, you know, no women here. They're treated like shit, whatever. This is dumb. And then coming back like in 2015 or whatever to play music again, it's just like, this is exactly the fucking same as it was seven years ago. Like how fucking stupid is this? And it's kind of like, I'm older now. I'm not fucking dealing with this shit. Like it's, you know, it's so stupid. It's, it's like, how is this? It's been the same since the dawn of time. Yeah. So it's kind right. of cool that now it's sort of catching up, you know, like slowly, but like it's definitely catching up. And then there's, you know, it's, it's cool. Cause there's bands with like, like you guys and, you know, other bands we've toured with who just, will speak out about shit which is fucking amazing and there's you know there definitely needs to be more of it but i guess it's good you know playing with bands like you that's like anyone in that yelling tour van is very (laughs) willing to tell anyone to go and fuck themselves yeah oh yeah And you need that people sometimes just need to be told to go fuck themselves yeah oh yeah oh yeah for sure for sure agreed I, I, like a lot of people, I guess, don't want to, and I get it. Like I totally get why you wouldn't want to. It causes, it's caused us, it's aged me fucking more than you'll ever know. But <laughs> um, especially like, you know, like anyone who's not a, like a white man, it's like you are going to get shit for it. It's like, that's why it's, it's, it's good that um, a lot of people are willing to cop the shit to, tell people to get fucked because the more people that do then the better it's all going to be isn't it that's right oh she's up oh look at this this is great this is great content oh and this teeth the yawning <laughs> this is fantastic all right um i love that she's working up i love that all right i think that's a that's a good spot to kind of shift into the end of the situation that we do here so i yeah. think do you have your computer in front of you yeah, I'm on it right now. All right. Can you go to the internet? Yes. All right. We have that here. Good. I don't yep. know if I can. I think I can. Is my screen still working? Okay, it is good. So I think this will be fun. So I think, so Google image search yeah. Chris, Chris Farron. Oh, hang on. Can you say that again? I lost you for so a second. So Google image search Chris Farron. Okay. All right. So, I love this. So what already. we're going to do is we're going to have a drawing okay. contest. Okay. Google image search. Yep. So, all right. So. He's beautiful. Oh, which he's one beautiful. do you, which one do you want to do? I the, See the one where he's in the leopard shirt and he's kind of doing this? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So let's. Yep. Let's. That one? Let's do that. So get ready. I'm going to put it in the chat first so everyone can see what we're drawing. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to set a timer, and we're going to have one minute to draw Chris. So let me set a oh, timer. Okay, get my paper. Let me know. I'll when use you're... this diary. I'll use this diary for 2020 because I can't do anything, so I may as well just use it as paper. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. Because it's canceled. Yeah, 2020 <laughs> is more like oh, April. Sh- there we go, canceled. Yeah, canceled. All right, so ready and yes. go. Okay. Oh, I'm not a very good drawer. I just say so we're all I'm aware a, out there in the world. I'm a terrible drawer. Absolutely shocking at drawing, but that's okay. We'll all see that soon enough with the results of this little game. Oh, he's so beautiful, isn't he? He's a beautiful man. He really sorry is. Sorry that I'm gonna sorry that I'm really gonna make you look like shit, Chris. Yeah. Do you think he's the most beautiful man in the world? Um, it's possible, I guess. Is, is this his hand? I've really muddled, made his hand look bad. So that's a bummer. It's such. Oh, I've really fucked this up. It's such a pity. All right, that, um, that's it. Stop. We, 
Stop. <gasps> Stop. Oh, no. Okay. okay. All right. So All right. what do you got? Show me. Okay. I'm going to get you back. It's not good. It's very bad. It's Are okay. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So let's see. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. All right. This is what I got. It looks like an alien. Oh, that's good. I like yours. Yeah, his hair is I didn't, yeah. pretty rough. Let me see yours again. <laughs> All right. He's going to get into trouble or I'm, he's he's going to say I'm he's going to he's going to I'm going to be in trouble for doing this, but uh I like it. He was giving me shit. He's like, "How come I can't be on your your your, your show?" I'm like, "You know why, Chris?" <laughs> Cuz you're a fucking I saw singer. I right something like what did he say? Like, oh, have fun on your little bass player show. <laughs> yeah, little does he know, it's mostly going to be a drummer show. Next week, I'm going to have Kevin on. Oh, perfect. I'll be coming back and have a little look at Kevin. Yes. Love Kevin. Fun. Um, all right. Well, can you text me that? Because I'm going to put that up on the internet. It'll be good. Unfortunately, I'll do it. he's going to see it, it regrettably. Right over. All right. So I think that's that. I'm going to let you get to work so you can do your day and have, uh, yeah, have your, I have, work. Have your yeah. day. I'm going to go hang out with Haley and uh, probably watch more Sopranos and have a bevy. But um, this was fun. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. for um, having me on your little show. Thank it's you. Good to see your face, John. Thank I you for it. coming on the show. It was great to see you. I missed I miss you. And I, I, I'm glad you brought the Veebs. That was fantastic. Everyone loves V. She, she, she did that. She did that all by herself. That's really, that's a really a beautiful thing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, it was great seeing you. Thank you. Um, uh, you too. And uh, yeah, and I and uh, I look forward to your reports on how the pubs go when, when they open oh, up. I'll keep you up to date. We'll keep each other up to date on the garbage situation of our combined countries yes I will, I will let you know how terrible we're doing and you can tell me how that's terrible but still not great you were oh. doing but all right so that's that um and we're gonna go over here uh twitch world uh next week like i said probably back at six o'clock i'll have kevin higuchi on who is the drummer for jeff's band and you know the other shit i do and we'll see y'all then so bye tomo awesome. i'll talk to you when bye, i do yeah. Great to see you. You will. All right. Bye. See ya. Bye. All right.